what I'm talking about. How often were you in a situation when you said, I fucking hate my job? I can imagine a lot of us were there. Bad management, poor ways of working, horrible colleagues, or just in general, any kind of company issues. I want to show you a few times of when I encountered these issues in my life, and what did I do to overcome them? Or at least, how did my situation improve? And I hope that this might help you as well in your future career. First of all, Let's start with something simple, yet what sounds fairly hard, unreachable goals. I remember the time in my life when we were tasked with rewriting the whole mobile application of our company in some unreasonable amount of time. What we did is we tried the smart goals approach. We focused on the letter A, achievable. We scoped down, focused to the bare minimum, delivered in time, and everyone was happy. First issue solved. Next, let's touch something more personal. I was once in a startup where there was no feedback culture at all. We only heard criticism from the management. Never how well do you perform, never where can you still improve in. We started by giving each other the positive feedback. Just make people around you aware how well they are doing their jobs. Be the example of how praise should be given. Eventually, even the C-level will start doing this. And then you can move on to giving the positive, constructive feedback. People sometimes don't even know uh, what's the difference between negative feedback and constructive, which can help. Try to be the example of how you should do this. Another one. What if you think the company does things the wrong way? You complain left and right, nothing is improving. I actually seen this multiple times in my life, as well in Klarna. People are surprised. They're vocal, but nothing changes. Well, you need to learn how to complain. Research the thing you don't agree with. Try to gather arguments against it. We run discoveries in Klarna. Do exactly that. Run a discovery on how a good employee survey or equity program should be handled. Share it among the people that you trust, just to gather feedback. And then act on it. Make it fit more people. Lastly, share it up the chain. Take ownership of it. That is how you can bring change to the bigger picture. Team-related topic. Your team doesn't improve, and the managers don't have time to work on any improvements. Retrospectives aren't useful, plannings don't exist, you work in a waterfall, and you never deliver the scope. You need to remember to have the time for improvements, negotiate it with your manager. If he doesn't want to, run these sessions without them. The, the manager can be optional if they want to. You just have to make it clear to the team of the importance of constant improvement. Speaking of managers, what if yours is not supportive? You are working hard, you care about the customer, you deliver results, you think in details, you fulfill everything from the competence mastery, and still nothing. No race, no promotion in sight. Remember to document what you're doing. Even more, brag about your accomplishments. Have a living document, like a portfolio, before the promotion period, write a one-pager with all your successes and give it to your manager. What if you lose interest in what your team is currently doing? This can hit us a few months after working on one project, and usually the first reaction is to just quit to a different company. Alternatively, maybe you try to all I mentioned before, and still nothing. I will highlight one thing where we're good in at Klarna. You can switch your team without much of a hassle. Have a candid talk with your CL about your career and where you want to go. Observe the social channels to ensure you'll find new team openings and tell others you're searching. So to recap what I shared with you today, set achievable goals, spread positive feedback, know how to complain effectively, schedule the time for improvements, document every positive thing you do. Don't be scared of switching teams, but last and not least, what to do if nothing that I presented here today helps? What if you already tried it? What if you feel you're stuck without any improvement and there's nothing more you can do? Of course, it's not always the solution, but it's okay to quit. If you don't get any kind of support from your organization, if your career doesn't progress in the current place, even though you do everything well, maybe it's okay to say no and leave. 
Because the most important thing you should be focusing on in every place you will be working in is your own happiness. Thank you. Thank you.